So, uh, I think I want to thank Pechak Kucha for giving me this opportunity to review my 30 years of my life. And today I am here kind of telling my story of being authentic and feeling enough as a woman. So, it starts as this young girl in Goa with this belief that everything is magical. So, the child of wonder who believes everything is magical. So I remember I used to be under a tree as a child and pray, saying, give me something to play with. Like literally go there and then I would look around with a lot of amusement and I would find something. And then the child of joy, because we had a general store back in Goa and I would go to aunties and pull their dress and say, auntie, auntie, Random people just sharing laughter and joy and communicating with them, having a conversation. My mom told me the story, who's sitting in the audience. And uh, I was also a child of love because I always, uh, I was very pro-social growing up, didn't know it was called pro-social, but I felt connected to everyone without any reason and still feel that way. And after that, we have this phase in my life where I became a child of obedience. Now there's a slide after where, uh, which speaks about how I became, should I stop? How I became a child of obedience, which I will share when the slide comes, where I was trying to fit the image of a good daughter, a good student, a good sister, a good neighbor, everything that is good, 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 good because something in me had shifted and I forgot who I am. I was a performer and also a, a child of pain at that point. So in my fourth grade, I had to repeat my fourth grade because I was underage and one fine person in my class who was my senior came up to me and said, you're a failure. And I just felt the earth should open up at that point and I can just go in like, you know, and never come out again. When I ba went back home, my mom told me, you have to prove them, you know, you, that you are not a failure. And then the story started of being a child of proving, you know, going, winning stuff, uh, you know, going for the World Youth Day. I was so good with everything I was doing. But overworking and overperforming was my trauma response. I just wanted to prove that I am good. And deep inside, it never felt good. When I was 19 or 18, I had the gift of depression. I was depressed, clinically depressed, and that mirror you see was shattered. Everything was broken and I was forced to see beyond this frame I had about my own self. And that's when I feel everything shifted for me. My mom told me, you were such a good girl before this, and then something shifted in you. And then the journey of courage and journeying the unknown started. I was 19, having my first job, earning 12K at that point, paying for my bills, and uh, I was a teacher in this, doing my course. I did my certification and came back to Goa. Now, the depression happened, but the awareness was not there. And this continues. I come back to Goa, again trying to, you know, prove and do things from that space, but now, the response I get from people is so much love and appreciation. I'm doing everything right by the book, but still feeling something is missing out there. After that, I made a journey. Uh, so these are my clients from Goa and international clients. I was 22 or 23 back then. I went to UK to do my MA in psychotherapy, in dance movement psychotherapy, and I did some solo solo traveling and soul searching, new and free. And for the first time I realized that the, the idea I had everybody is me just felt so real at that point. Nobody felt different, everybody was me, it felt like we are one. And I got myself a certification at that point, again, another certification. And that was uh, Pound, another fitness format I wanted to teach. Uh, at this point, uh, Something was happening for me, again, another wake-up call, I would say, and life really got exciting. I had to leave my course in the UK and come back because things were not working for me. And I remember sitting at the door of my PG when I was leaving, just before my flight, when I had to go, and I said, God, I don't know, 
Like right now, I'm dropping the image of who I have to be, what I have to be, and I surrender, and I see what's going to come. I think that day, the real courage kicked in, actually. <laughs> okay? And I think I went on a journey of finding my purpose. I was invited uh, in Bangalore to do this Pound, fit, uh, pound Fitness in a, a Fit Bangalore pro Fit Bangladu program. There were these things where I was seeing certain things which I don't I don't know if it was I'm not cuckoo, okay, I was sane, but I could sense certain things and I was asking who am I? What is my purpose? Why am I here? And I have such lovely people who are like my spiritual mentors in a way who guided me and told me, Krisma, you're not crazy. You're okay. And uh, then I meet this amazing man. He's an epitome of love, but there are other people also in my life who are epitome of love and who are sitting in the audience right now and here to support me. And my world was shifting. Something in me had really shifted now at this point. And I was finding pleasure in just slowing down and not being too, uh, you know, impulsive. Very recently, I got myself a certificate in expressive arts because arts has been the anchor which holds me together every time I have something. It helps me express, helps me go within, like in the very intimate part of myself. And the, the whole thing I want to say right now is purposeful rest before the rest. I'm going to take a break ne this next month and find some time to really get to the next, uh, next thing in my life, which I don't know what it is right now. I have a poem. Can I just share? OK. The poem is called uh, Purposeful Rest. In the dance of doing and being, I forgot to rest. I forgot to flow. I forgot to be. I forgot. In the race of being extraordinary, I forgot my ordinary. In the race of achieving, I forgot. I'm worthy of receiving. In this journey, I had forgotten that the flow and the direction the being and the doing go hand in hand. Today, I don't celebrate my flow or my direction, but the togetherness. I celebrate the marriage of being and doing, the balance, my, endog my androgynous self. I found purpose in my rest before the rest. I found purpose in my rest before the rest that is yet to unfold. Thank you very much. Thank you.